getting close to the end. This is insane. So yeah, it's all wired up. These wires might burn <laughs> during actual testing, but we will find out about that later. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this one is assembling the rest. Completing the CNC project, so let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the match. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Okay, so these are all the components, power supplies, drivers, and the spindle uh, well, a frequency converter and the Arduino Mega with the GRBL software. Well, and I also need this, this power bar right here. And the plan is to mount everything on this wooden plate. It got a bit damaged by, by the freaking water. Well, the basement got flooded. You can check out this vlog if you missed that. But yeah, it's not too bad. Only this section, Arduino frequency converter, drivers, power supplies, and then I need to wire everything. Oh my God, let's get it. Whoa, so that took quite a bit longer than expected. It's getting three o'clock a.m. That means it took me four hours to complete everything, but it was quite a relaxing work to do, actually. I'm listening to Elliot House in the background. I ha actually had a good time. And yeah, uh, that's what I came up with. Everything taped onto this wooden, this wooden plate, double-sided duct tape, so it's a semi-permanent solution. Power supplies, Arduino, power outlets, spindle drive and the motor drivers. I connected the power supplies to the drivers with a rather thick cables. So that should be fine. That should be A-OK. -okay. So I don't worry about that whatsoever. Next, I built this common ground right here. And as you can see, I literally just bent wires. Three here, three here. Well, three for every driver. And then I connected everything and this goes to the common ground to the Arduino and these colored wires, they are the direction, enable and step pins and they are connected to the Arduino. This is the X axis, this is Epsilon 1, Epsilon 2 and the Z axis and these two are cloned. So I, you know, I just split the signal feeding it to these drivers right here. So this doesn't worry me either. Spindle doesn't wor I worry me, but this does because these are the cables that deliver the power to the steppers and well you won't be able to see it but this these are rather thin cables with a thin leads in them and i have this feeling like i have they might give me troubles i don't know what will happen they will if they're too thin they will just burn out or something like that i don't know so this is literally my only concern and i did soldier them onto the steppers so there are quite a lot of cables as you can see i need to come up with something for that but so far it's quite modular I can move this around and I think I will keep this at one side probably at this side but I'm not sure about that yet I will get to that in another vlog I guess or or well I will just show you the progress the final well not final position but whatever in another vlog we'll get to that in another vlog now the only thing that I want to do is to test to freaking give it a shot so, okay, I don't need the spindle as of now, so let's just unplug this thing. Let's... Jesus Christ. Oh my god, this is so scary every time. All the motors are connected. I think I will immediately find out if there is something going on and... Yeah, it's getting warm. It's definitely getting warm. They look quite similar, but these cables are at least double the size or the girth or whatever than these literally they are like that and these other ones are like maybe like that in comparison like these are really thin cables so yeah i would just oh crap yeah they are definitely getting a really hot compared to these they are not getting hot at all oh yeah they are getting fairly hot god damn it i think i might have to exchange them well, sooner than later, I guess. Damn, son, they are getting really hot. But well, let's hook up the Arduino. 
Oh my god, I just I just wrecked this pin right here. Anyways. Let's get this Arduino going. Okay, so oh my god, this is so new to me. I'm so scared. Yeah, better be always close, very close to this switch right here. The Z axis is working. Yeah, this this is working. Why is it doing that? Oh my god, why is it freaking doing that? Let's try the X axis, which is Why is it freaking doing that? This is not sounding good. Yeah, it's definitely moving. It's definitely doing something. Oh yeah, it's moving just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Okay, and now comes uh, the scary part, moving the table. Let's freaking hope for the best, literally. I need to hope. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait a sec. If this... <gasps> no, wait a sec. It does... It... It's, it's not, it's not, it's not. I messed it up. <laughs> nope, it's not. This one is turning in this direction, this one is turning in the other direction. I think that's a problem. It shouldn't be hard to solve, I just need to switch out. Well, I need to switch wires right here. But I can't really see what exactly is going on because it's simply not moving a lot. So I think this th side came out a bit and this side went in. You might actually be able to see this on the video, but it's not moving forwards or backwards, it's literally turning, which is bad. This is not good, so I need to switch out these wires immediately on this side right here. Did I say Epsilon? What the heck is wrong with me? This is the Y2 and I just exchanged these two, well I just turned them. And now... Yeah, now they're turning... Now they're actually... Yep. Now both are spinning this direction, so that was a success right there, as easy as expected. As you can see now, the freaking build plate is moving. Hell yeah, this is awesome. This is actually awesome. Okay, let's go to zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you see it moving? Okay, let's check. It's a bit weird now. And I, yeah, the, actually this one. Let's turn it off and I need to bring it forward just a bit. As you can see, it's moving quite a bit actually. So yeah, this is how I set it up. Well calibrated actually. Getting close to the end. This is insane. Next up is definitely testing, but I am so done for today. Let's just power it up one last time. That was smooth. Well, I don't know why though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now it will move quite a bit. So I just gave it a time lapse right there because it's it's quite slow. And if you're interested in what I'm doing on this panel right here, I'm just pressing these buttons right here. And yeah, let's watch this X axis right there. Oh my god, it's moving so slow, I can't believe it. But well, that's the freaking progress. So yeah, it's all wired up. These wires might burn <laughs> during actual testing, but we will find out about that later. <sighs> Damn, I'm literally sweating. It's, <laughs> it's stressing me out, but it's awesome at the same time. So yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I smashed together all these parts. Power the CNC, hell yeah. Bang the band like crap pop so that you never miss future CNC updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.